If you are from New Jersey, chances are you're familiar with the term freeholder. It's what the Garden State calls its top elected county officials. And the term itself dates back to the state's original constitution of 1776, a time when the only people eligible to hold public office were white male owners of debt-free land, which is the literal translation of freeholder. And now with officials across the country attempting to address structural racism, a proposed bill could do away with that archaic term critics say is demeaning to minorities and women. Oh, it's way past due. Governor Murphy is leading that charge along with the two Democratic leaders of the state legislature, throwing their support behind a bill that will retire the term, replacing it with county commissioner. I, I promise you we're open to, to uh, anything else that folks find uh, offensive. While the bill appears to have bipartisan support, some opponents say abolishing the term feeds into the politically correct culture. It's more than just a reckoning of our history so that we can move forward. It's a reckoning of our history so that we don't repeat the mistakes of the past. The debate is putting a new light on everyday words that are rooted in the nation's history of white superiority. Among them, blacklist, black ball, the expression grandfathered in, and master bedroom, all tied to slavery and oppression. Corey Hale, founding member of the Black Innovation Alliance, say changes are long overdue. I'm no one's master. I own no one. I never will. And I don't want to be reminded of a time where some people thought that it was okay to own another human being. I'm Angie Ramos. Pix 11 News.